Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I thought I would do a ColourPop haul. I've mentioned in previous videos, I've asked you guys if you wanted to see me do looks with these collections. Um, so let me know because today I'm just going to haul them because I want to look through them myself and I thought it would just be a fun video. Maybe you haven't been keeping up with ColourPop lately and you'd like to see some more recent collections from them. Or this could also be really old news for some of you. <laughs> so anyway, um, I did get the Beauty and the Beast collab and the Pokemon collab and I'm very excited to look through them. I haven't really looked through them much. I've just like been trying to organize them but it's just like there's stuff everywhere so I thought I would just haul it and again still let me know if you want to see videos where I'm actually using the product or if you just want to see looks with the eyeshadow palettes whatever so I'm going to start with the Beauty and the Beast because that is the older collab I also should have checked if this is even still available but I didn't. Let's just do that now. Well, it's still, yeah. Oh, it's still in the new category, but the, so the full collection bundle or the full collection set, they call it, is out of stock, but there's an email me button. So I'm not sure if they're going to re-release it, but you can get other things in the collection separately. So that's good to know. And then let's see the Pokemon in the new category. Um, again, the full collection set, it says email me. So I'm sure they would do it again because they've been doing that lately, I feel, with their collabs. They restock them. Um, but you can get the palette by itself. Yeah, you can get a lot of the products, well, not, yeah, it depends. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave a link below um, to, to the website, to the collections, so you can check it out for yourself. But let's just get into this, because it'll prob probably be a long video. So, the first thing I have from the Beauty and the Beast collab my battery's gonna die. So the first product I have is the Enchanted Rose Lip Mask from the Beauty and the Beast collection. Again, um, this is so cute. However, I was expecting it to be like the actual, you know, well, it's right here, the rose in the thing, whatever that's called. But it's actually just like, if I can get it out. <laughs> it's just like a rose itself. But it's still adorable, of course. And it smells really good. I've already smelled this. Um, I was worried it would smell like too rosy and like fake. But it's a nice scent. I don't know what it is, actually. I don't think it is rose. Maybe a little, but it's mixed with something. So yeah, this is a lip mask. I have liked the ColourPop lip masks in the past. They're really nice and like creamy and hydrating. So very excited. I'm going to keep it in this box because it's just way too cute. And then in the collection, you get both blushes. So you get, the, they are both pressed powder blushes. They have the same packaging, but this one is called Chip Looks like this, very cute And I love this kind of blush, it's like a toasty, warm, beige <laughs> I don't know um, doesn't smell like anything. I really like the ColourPop um, powder blushes too, so I'm guessing this won't be any different. And I'm excited because I don't think 
off the top of my head anyway. I don't have a shade like this from ColourPop. Or in my collection, really. I don't have a lot of shades like this, although I know I like them. But I tend to buy more, like, pink blushes lately. So that's going to be fun to use. And the other one is called Mrs. Potts, of course. So you have Mrs. Potts and Chip. Her son, right? I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast in years. Ooh, this one is like a nice pink, like a pale pink shade. Very pretty. They both have the same rose embossed, if you can see. Yes. I am excited about these. And I like this collection that it was more neutral from what they've been doing lately. They've been doing a lot of colorful things. Of course, we'll get back to that with the Pokemon stuff, but I like this was more like a neutral collection, like everyday kind of wear. Um, then this came in set, the Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Special Guest. Look at this packaging. It's so cute. It has little, um, the sky linears around. And this is a giant Super Shock highlighter. Because I think they meant for this to be like a body highlighter also. That's why it's such a big pan. But look at how pretty that is. I do like these. Um, they are huge, <laughs> but I keep them in my highlighter drawer and they're nice and like thin, so they don't take up that much room, but yeah. Isn't this cute? I think it's adorable. So that was the shade Special Guest. I should, I'm not even swatching things. What is wrong with me? It's so soft. That's what it looks like. And look at this. I am excited. That's gonna be really pretty. I do like the Super Shock Highlighter formula. Usually, there is a bit of glitter in it, but I think it's going to be really pretty nonetheless. And I'm keeping everything in the packaging because it's just way too cute to get rid of. I'm going to need to buy an, another new storage container just for my ColourPop stuff though. Then we have the... Um, lipstick and lip gloss duos. So this one is called Break the Spell. How adorable. This has the Luxe lipstick in the shade Last Petal and the Ultra Glossy Lip in Kind and Gentle. So this is the Ultra Glossy Lip. It looks beautiful. It's like a nice kind of bronzy tone with shimmer like a, a brown. Let's swatch. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a cool tone brown, kind of taupey lip gloss. And I'm assuming it goes with the lipstick. So this is the packaging. How cute. They put so much detail into the packaging. I just love it. Oh, even... Look at the lip, look at the roses on there. I just love it. I can't believe the detail ColourPop does for the price. It's just insane. Okay, so the lipstick is actually deeper and almost like more terracotta-y. I think I'm gonna love this though. So that's the Lux lipstick formula. In last petal is the shade. I'm gonna keep these together in the box. And the other one has Belle on the front. This one is called Great Adventure and it has the Lux lipstick in Not So Odd and the Ultra Glossy Lip in Bookworm. That is very cute. Ooh, and this one is more on the pink side, so that's the lip gloss. 
Mm, it smells good too. Did I already say that when I <laughs> looked at the other one? This one is very sheer. I don't know, like it probably won't have much color on the lips. It might, cause it's kind of like a light pink. And then the lipstick, same packaging, by the way. Ooh, this looks like a nice... Yes, I like that the lipstick is deeper. That looks very pretty. It's like a rosy kind of pink. So that should be really fun to wear together or on their own. Those are all really nice shades. And then the last thing is, of course, the eyeshadow palette. This is just called the Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette. There's the packaging. It's so pretty. That's what it looks like. I love that it's actually like the Disney Beauty and the Beast. Sometimes they do, like when they did Hocus Pocus. I mean, I guess that's different because it's a live action movie that they did a drawing of, but I don't know. This is just like official Beauty and the Beast merch kind of thing. Look at the inside. I love it. And these are the shades. So very fun. Um, again, more neutral with, of course, a pop of blue. I mean, you would have had to have done blue for Beauty and the Beast because of Belle's dress, the, the normal dress that she wears. It is blue, right? Or am I imagining things? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen that movie in like forever. I do think, is it possible that it was the first movie I saw in theaters? I have that as a memory. I'm not sure if that's true though. So I just love the colors in here. I love that you can do the pop of blue if you want. There's pink shades. There's little rose embossings. And if it's anything like the other ColourPop palettes in the formula, I already know I'm gonna like it. Oh, was there any pressed glitter? I don't think it says, yeah. It doesn't tell you on the package. But even if there was, the ColourPop pressed glitters, I actually like them. This is the only one that looks very glittery. Let's feel it. Yeah, that might be I don't know, it's also very spongy though. So, I don't know if that's a super shock formula. It probably says on the website, but, oh, look at that. I don't wanna make this video way too long, so. Look at that, very pretty. So, that is very fun. So that was the palette. So let me know. If you guys want to see any looks with this or any other things in the collection more in depth, I will be happy to use this. So that was the full set of the Beauty and the Beast. It was like a smaller collection, but now I have the Pokemon collection, which is a lot of things. So let's start with the lip balms. I think this is a new product from them, first of all. Look at the packaging. I am keeping this. I don't care if it's not going to fit anywhere. <laughs> I just love it. It's so cute. By the way, I am not super... I'm not a Pokemon like fan, really. Um, I kind of missed the boat on Pokemon. I don't know if I was like a little too old for it. But I do love Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of all in the same kind of, you know, you know what I mean? Anime type stuff. Um, I do know that that's Pikachu, but I don't remember what these guys are called, but they're adorable. So this I think is a new product from ColourPop. It's a transforming pH lip balm. And I will have to show you. So the one with, with Pikachu is called Thunderbolt. And these are stunning. Like just looking at them. Look at this. 
so cute. But look. Oh my god. I don't, the camera's not even like focusing on this because it's just too crazy. There's glitter in there. And I'm guessing because it's a pH lip balm. I don't know if it would work if I swatch it. But it's going to go on clear. And I guess like transform into probably a pink shade so i don't really know how that's gonna work oh it's already yeah it's already turning pink if you can see but does that mean these are all gonna be the same on your lips okay so it says a color changing lip balm that reacts to your natural ph levels to create the perfect custom pink shade but they're all transforming with bonds. So are they all going to be the same shape? <laughs> I don't know. So did you really need all three of them? I mean, if you get the collection, you're going to get all three. But if you only want one, just pick the one, the character you like the most. So this one was called... Sing. Is this Jigglypuff? I don't know. I hope, oh, this one's so fun because it's pink. Yeah, I hope you're not like a super Pokemon fan and you're very annoyed with me right now that I don't know what these names are. And then you have this like purple blob guy. This one's called Transform. And they all have the little character on the bullet um not the bullet the packaging so this is like the purpley one but aren't these so fun just to look at i don't know i'm kind of excited about these even though i feel like they're probably all gonna look the same shade on the lips so i didn't need all three but anyway yeah can you see look how that became pink it was clear when I first put it on. So that's the lip balms. Um, then we have the Super Shock Shadows. And these came in giant packages. I guess they were trying to make it look like Pokemon cards maybe. That's why they did them in this size. Because in each of these there's just one Super Shock Shadow. So this one, okay, I know that's Squirtle. He's so cute. This is called Solar... Wait, that's not Squirtle. This is some other guy. This one's Squirtle. <laughs> See? I don't know. This is Solar Beam. And inside is just... So that's all you get in the box. So it's just like a collector's thing. I guess um, this looks really cute though so that's has a little leaf on it and that's the shade Ooh, I think yeah this is an ultra glitter formula I think they all were if I remember correctly Ooh, it feels really nice <gasps> okay Ooh. Love it. That's the shade. It's like a turquoise. Very exciting. And it has like a, um, I want to say like a blue purple sparkle in it. It's very pretty. Look at that. Okay, that's exciting. Putting it back in this giant box though. This one's Squirtle. Right? The turtle. His name is Squirtle. That would make sense. Um, this is called Hydro Pump. And this is going to be a blue. This one has a little water drop on it. Looks like this. Yep, this is also an ultra glitter. Ooh, that's like an ice blue this one here and that one has 
it yeah it has glitter but the glitter is also blue so it's not this one had like more different color ref reflex but this one's just blue but still very pretty and then this is charizard right the dragon guy i don't know why i keep trying to guess their names i'm probably just making a fool of myself but the shade is flamethrower and of course this one has a little flame on it and it's an orange Ooh, that one felt even softer than the other two. Oh, but it's not like orange orange it's almost like a peachy orange it goes on more sheer and it has yeah like different color reflex i i don't know if i'm just mixing them up now but it looks like there's like a blue glitter in that i don't know if it's gonna pick up but those are the ultra wait what did i say they were the super shock shadows in the ultra glitter formulas then we have i don't know where where to go next there's this ultra glossy lip trio this is the thing i'm like okay i don't know if i'm gonna love this because um uh, it's like colorful lip glosses i don't know if that's my jam unless they're very sheer then i'll be fine but in this, so this is called the Evolution Ultra Glossy Lip Trio. And you have the shade Thunderstone, Firestone, and Waterstone. I don't know these guys' names, but they're very cute. Um, yeah, but the thing is, they're like the colors of the characters. So the Waterstone one is a blue. Maybe I'll just try it on and see. That's what that looks like. But it's very adorable because it has a little character on the top. I'm just wearing like a tinted lip balm type thing. So I can just take this off and put that on top. Ooh, that smells good. Oh yeah, okay. So that is blue. I mean, it's not terrible. It just has to go with like a certain look, you know, because it it does have like a bluish purple tone, but it it looks nice. It feels nice on the lips. I know I've, I've already tried. I have tons of these now, the ultra glossy lips. These are the pearlized finish ones. Not as bad as I thought it might be. <laughs> but let's try the other ones. This one is Thunderstone. This yellow one. Yeah, that one's fine because it goes on more of like a sheer pretty. These all feel really nice by the way. They're not um they're not grainy. And they do leave glitter on your lips. The last like the orangey one with this guy on it. This one is Firestone. Yeah, that one too goes on more sheer. So, okay, I'm liking these actually. Yeah, it's just the blue one. I mean, I wouldn't just throw this on with nothing else because it, it does have like a bluish undertone but I like the formula and I think it's very cute that they coordinate with their little characters okay oh I should have 
shown this at the beginning. This is so adorable. This is the Your Catch Berry Lip Mask. So another lip mask. But how could you get this collection and not get the lip mask? Because it's a Pokeball. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> it smells divine. It looks really pretty. These ColourPop lip masks, you can use them as lip gloss because they have like a shimmer. They're nice and, like I said, they're nice and hydrating and creamy. So I would just use these anytime, not just like as a night lip mask or something, but that is so cute, the little Pokeball. Then we have three, um, these are, are these new? I feel like I've never tried, have I ever tried a cream blush from ColourPop? I don't, I don't think so. I know they have sticks, but I don't think they have creams like this. So this is the Instant Crush Cream Blush, and you have three of them. So this first one is called Electro Ball. It has Pikachu on the front. It says a weightless moisturizing cream blush that's super buildable and blendable for a sheer wash of color with a natural matte finish. Infused with kupuasu butter. I don't know if I said that right. Shea butter and berry complex. Okay, I'm very excited about these. So that is Electro ball. Look at the inside. This little Pikachu's. I need to swatch this. Okay. Ooh, it feels. Ooh, that's sheer. Let's see. Well, yeah. I guess it shears out when you apply it. Oh, that. Okay, that is exactly what they said it was. A sheer wash of color with a natural matte finish. It's almost like. Once you blend it out, it feels like a, you know those lip products that are blurring? So like they're liquid, but when you put them on, they have like a soft matte kind of feel. That's what this feels like, but in a blush. So that's very interesting. I don't think I have anything else like this. And love the shade of that one. That was Electro Ball. Then we have Hypnosis, Hypnosis, <laughs> this guy. Ooh, look at this one. This one has a bunch of different um, guys inside that are all purple and it's a purple blush. I hope this goes on like a magenta purple because that's what I like. These feel so interesting. Okay, I don't know how this would go on my skin tone. That is pulling quite purple, but it could work. It could work. So, yeah. These are so, like, wet. But once you blend them, they're, like I said, like a soft matte kind of feel. Very intriguing. I hope they wear well on the skin. And then this guy, maybe this is Jigglypuff. <laughs> I don't know. Metronome is the shade. See this guy? He looks jiggly. Ooh, and this is like a nice pink. And this one too has all the little different pink guys. So it was only the Pikachu one that just had Pikachus. I imagine this one would be very, like, sheer on the skin. Yeah, it's very light. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. I put it here. So we'll see how that one goes. Sometimes blushes like this, they look like nothing. But once you put them on your skin, you're like, oh, that does work really well actually. So so I'm hoping that's what will happen with this one because that went on like I can barely see it but more to, to come. 
And finally, the eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is huge. I was not expecting this giant eyeshadow palette. I think it's the same size. Oh, I don't have that out anymore. I thought this might be the same size as the Harry Potter one, but it feels even bigger. So this is called the Palette Town Eyeshadow Palette. You have all of the shades on the back. Super cute packaging, of course. All the little cute guys here. Like, it's so big, you can barely hold it. Like, this is a palette. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to put down on my desk. Look at this giant thing. So there's no mirror. There's just all of these little Pokemon right? Well, I don't know. Um, yeah. Loving the colors. I love that it's not the same as the Harry Potter because the Harry Potter one was also this kind of like separated by colors of course because it had all the colors for the different houses but this one is more like bright um almost like more leaning not neon but I don't know. It's just brighter, is what I'm trying to say. Um, the Harry Potter one was more like jewel tones, maybe. So, this is very exciting. You can mix and match. You can stick to one section and do like a more monochromatic look. But I'm very excited to try this. I do see, I believe, this one is a pressed glitter blasting off. But it looks beautiful. Oh. I don't know, every time I touch a ColourPop pressed glitter, they feel like they get creamier and creamier um, as it goes. Look at this. See how it's like, it's a pressed glitter, but once you blend it, it's so wet that it just sticks to your eye. So it doesn't matter that it's a pressed glitter because it ends up just looking like a really pretty metallic so that is super fun love that and maybe this one gym leader that could be I'm scared to touch this one because it looks like it cracked no that I think that is also a press glitter oh but it's so beautiful okay I'm loving the colors I love this row. Sorry, my memory card filled up. Um, I just swatched out that other thing that I think is a pressed glitter, the shade Gym Leader, and it is beautiful. And then I was saying that I love the row of greens. I feel like these are very unique shades. Could be very fun to do a look with those. So again, let me know if you want to see more. This was just kind of like a little show and tell <laughs> video. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So that was my giant color pop haul. Now I have to find somewhere to put all this stuff, which I don't know what I'm gonna do, to be honest. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. <laughs> if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.